kind of have some hard and fast rules about riding in the rain. Hard and fast, kind of, sort of. Rule number one is I typically don't like to start a ride in the rain. That is, if it's raining... Hey. I got fans everywhere, what can I say? Anyways, if it's raining when I leave the house, typically not gonna ride in the rain. If it's raining halfway through my ride, whether I was preparing for it or not, that's different. I'll totally get out and ride and deal with it while I'm out there. Hopefully prepared for it. So I'm not too sure if you can tell, but I'm not riding with 6,000 of my closest friends on a CN charity ride for the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario because it was raining, it was cold and miserable, and I applaud the people that did do it, but not for me, and not for Linda. We'll try again next year. Anyways, how are you? It is Monday, after work, and I'm uh, heading out to stretch the legs a little bit. It's good to see you. My life on two wheels. You wanna see something shocking? Check these out. Those are my Q-tips, people. Bare legs. It's quite nice today. So here's the other thing about uh, riding in the rain. Now, I'm not totally adverse. Like I said, my rules are uh, not so rigid. Um, I don't uh, live and die by them. But here's the thing. If I had planned uh, a destination ride, say to Toronto, London, Ontario, somewhere like that, where it's going to cost me uh, quite a bit of money to, uh, to get there and to stay and to do the ride, then uh, all bets are off. I'm riding, baby. If I'm there, I'm riding. The other time uh, that I will let my rules slide a little bit is if I have made plans with friends and they're relying on me to show up as a part of the team, then sure. You know, I may bitch and moan a little bit, a lot, but uh, I will show up. The charity, yeah, they got our money, which I'm super happy about. But uh, yeah, we did a hard ride on Saturday and we didn't really, uh, it, kind of in anticipation that the weather was gonna be shitty on Sunday. A and it was, yeah. So uh, yeah, am I forgiven? <laughs> I don't think I'm a fair weather cyclist. I don't. I think I'm, uh, I'm a pretty, uh, I'm pretty tough. Hmm, am I? Are you? I didn't know this vlog was going to be about riding in the rain or my aversion to it. But that's what it seems to be turning into. So one of the other reasons why we didn't ride yesterday wasn't just because of the rain, but it, but it was a factor. Because, as I mentioned, I think there's usually around 6,000 people who show up for this ride and it's a mass start. And, you know, not to be too judgy, but a lot of them are novice riders and uh, it's sketchy at the best of times when you're riding in the rain with seasoned or veteran riders. And I've done this ride before, there's a couple of areas, pinch points, tight turns, which uh, in the dry are a little sketchy. In the wet, mm -hmm. So, uh, what is that, excuse number three or four as to why <laughs> this vlog is not my charity ride vlog. Yeah, I, you know what? There's probably gonna be a few more as I noodle along here and think about excuses. Explain those excuses to you as to why we didn't do the ride yesterday. Why cry over spilt milk? It's done. Velo Orange, that's what I'm riding today, the rando. I don't know if I showed you the new Velo Orange bottle cages. Yeah, you gotta have Velo Orange bottle cages on your Velo Orange. I don't know if you're like me. You have your regular routes that you like to do. 
your training rides on familiar roads. But there's always one road that just sucks. And you dread the moment in the ride, both when it's approaching and then secondly when you're on it. Well, I'm on it. I hate this road. I hate it for a number of reasons. First of all, there's so many cracks and bumps. There's cracks on cracks, bumps on bumps, asphalt patches over potholes on top of asphalt patches on top of potholes. What I really hate are these cracks. You just can't get into a rhythm. It is brutal. I hate it. Also, there's no shoulder. So you bob and weave, but this car is coming. I know, I know, I know. Why don't I do this to myself? There are other options. It's just that 90% of this ride is awesome. And then it's just this 10% that sucks balls. I used to do this road on 23 millimeter tires at 120 PSI. I'm surprised I still have balls or a lower back. Damn. Anyways, it's nearly over. A lot of griping from me on today's vlog. That's a wrap. Have a great week. Steel versus steel. My Mariposa against my Velo Orange. That's next up. Have a great rest of the week. We will regroup. Adios.